One of Vizzle's new templates is the categorizing template. This template provides a lot of flexibility, allowing options for sorting for up to eight categories and can be used as matching and ordering as well. Let's take a look at some examples from the Vizzle library. I'm going to search the library just by activity type and select categorizing. You'll see some templates for our new course lessons as well as a variety of lessons. In this example on author's purpose, a student is to sort cards into the categories of persuade, inform, or entertain. Then in this algebra activity, students are asked to match the term to the appropriate part of an equation. And in this ELA lesson, the student is asked to put the sentences in order to create a paragraph. Now let's go into Vizzle's authoring tool to create an activity with the categorizing template. Click on the authoring tab, then click create a new lesson. Once in the tool, select categorizing from the template options. You'll see you'll have an instructions box in the top left of the page. Under that will be your answer cards. You have the option of up to eight answer cards. Then on the right side of the page are the categories, which you have the option of up to eight of those as well. To then build the page, click text and media in the left navigation panel. We'll build an activity having students sort cards with animals into the correct habitat. So we'll title our activity, Animal Habitats. Under the title, you'll see tabs to build the three areas of the template. Instruction, categories, and answers. Now, let's start with our instruction. We can take an image, text, and or audio, and for this example, we'll just go with text. So I'll click on the text box and add the text in the work area to the right. Then adjust the formatting options as you'd like. I'll adjust this text to a font size of 30. Then click Apply to add to the text to the card. Next, we'll build our categories, so click on the Categories tab under the title. Use the drop-down to select the number of categories you'd like. We'll set it for three for this activity. Then build each of your categories. We'll go ahead and build one for forest, ocean, and lake adding an image and text label for each category. Then we'll move to build our answer cards by clicking on the Answers tab. I'd like two cards for each category, so I'll select a total of six answer cards. For each answer card, you'll see you can use the drop-down in the top left of each answer card where you can either category A, B, or C, or you can choose wrong if you'd like it to be a distractor and not paired to one of your categories. I'll build the first one for my category A, forest animals, by adding an image for a bear and the text label black bear. I'll continue building out the answer cards by selecting the appropriate category and then adding image and text. Now that we have built each section of our activity, let's click preview in the navigation panel to see how it looks. If text-to-speech is turned on for the account, clicking a card will have Vizzle read the text. Dear. And a student can move an answer card to the appropriate category. If they move an answer card to an incorrect category, the card will bounce back and be counted as an incorrect answer choice with regard to data. Click the X in the top right of the screen to close the preview. Then click Lesson Details in the left navigation panel to select subject area and provide additional information. When done, click Save and then exit to home. You can then go to My Lessons to find and assign your lessons to your students. From the Subject drop-down, select the subject area you assigned it to. You can then use the additional filters to type in keyword if you'd like to filter it further. Then click to highlight the lesson and assign to your students. 
We're sure you find many creative ways to utilize this flexible template. Remember, help is just a click away by using our in-app chat. Happy visiting!